You know something, don't you? You know what's out there. I have a hunch. Yes? Come on, Bill. You never do anything halfway. What do you think we'll find? If we're lucky, another prize. If we're very lucky, something that'll end this miserable war. You're talking over my head, mate. Listen, Sean, I have no idea what we're gonna find. But I do know that whatever it is, the Templars can't have it. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know if you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. Sean, you feeling okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're assassins, after all, aren't we, eh? Hey? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is... Is Desmond worth all this trouble? You know, what, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. His genes contain high concentrations of First Civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Oh, the bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. I have left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia. To a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away.